Hey guys, welcome to WPF Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about the grid splitter in WPF. The grid splitter allows the user to resize content in the grid as they please. Um, so how do we use this? Well, first I want to give you a few key pointers. Uh, the grid splitter can only be placed in a cell and it resizes the whole row or column not just a single cell so if you have multiple rows you need to specify a row span on that grid splitter by default the splitter has a width of zero so we always need to give it a width so the user can see it and use it and the grid splitter horizontal and vertical alignment is key in determining how the grid splitter will be positioned. So here we have an example using the grid splitter where you might have a menu on the left that sometimes has content that gets too wide to fit so you need to resize it manually. Here's what this consists of is a stack panel of text blocks in the first cell and then you have a text block on the right. The third thing is the grid splitter and here um, you'll notice that we have a grid splitter in the in the second column that's where we put it the grid splitter is horizontally aligned to the left with a width of two because we need to be able to see it as well as use it so let me run this real quick and show you guys what's going on so notice I'm just dragging the grid splitter from left to right so both cells are resizing accordingly when I do that now notice here I could have just as easily put the grid splitter in the first column and aligned it to the right and it would have worked just as well. So next we're going to talk about a more complicated example using four cells and two grid splitters. So the first grid splitter we're talking about here is this one. It's running from top to bottom. And it notice it is in column one, which is right here, but it's horizontally aligned to the left. It's stretched vertically with a row span of two, so it can go across both rows, and it has a width of three. The next grid splitter we have is actually in row 0 and it runs from left to right all the way along here this horizontal axis and so it has a vertical alignment of bottom because it's in the first row we want it to be in the center and it's stretched horizontally and one key difference between these two grid splitters is that because it's going from left to right and horizontal, the grid splitter actually needs to have a height of 3 instead of a width of 3. So let me run this real quick. And we can see here, resizing the columns. And I can resize the rows. So that's pretty much all there is to grid splitters. Today, I hope you got a good understanding of what a grid splitter is and how to use it. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions at all, please don't forget to comment below the video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.